Hey, hey, welcome back to an all new episode of Construction Secrets with me, David Windsor. As always, you can go over to davidwindsor.com to get your free downloadable templates. And all I ask in exchange is that you like, subscribe, and share this YouTube channel with one of your friends today. That being said, today I wanna to talk to you about doing the cleanup, doing the dirty work, doing the things that no one wants to do. And sometimes you gotta do it, especially as the general contractor. So they just started hanging drywall the other day, um, literally like two days ago. And as you can see, it's kind of a, it's kind of a mess in here and it's not too bad, but it's, it's also, it's not too great. And so as I'm walking through, you know, you can see that this job site's quite dirty. So the team's coming on Monday. We're going to continue with the drywall and I want to make sure that this place is ready to go and everything looks good for the team that's continuing on. And that being said, because of that, I am here on a Saturday. I'm here to clean up. I'm here to do whatever it takes for my team because this is the way that I feel shows respect to everybody else. The fact that we are out here as the owners of the business and we are cleaning up for the people coming in front of us, people are gonna respect this job site more. If they show up and this job site is clean, they're gonna respect it more. And also with my team, my team is coming out later today and so I thought I'd get a head start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the entire first floor for these guys and then these guys can come in um, at a different time, you know, i.e. in the next couple hours and then get the second floor down below. So that's what I'm doing here right now. And that's, that's kind of my goal is just to show the team and everybody else a little bit of respect that, you know, we are the owners, I'm the owner, I'm the boss, and I'm not above doing this type of work. And I'm here to help out and do whatever it takes. So cleaning up my job site is a huge thing. And if, if you want to learn a little bit about lean construction, um, lean is an operation that uh, was founded by Toyota, you know, 50 years ago. And lean is an operation of eliminating waste, you know, on-time deliveries, touching it once, all that kind of stuff. And if you keep the job site clean, people aren't going to be touching things twice. And lean was adopted in the manufacturing, and now it's getting close in construction, but it's still pretty far behind. So that being said, we are here today to do a little bit of cleanup on Saturday on our day off. And it is just a beautiful day outside. We are obviously in Park City, Utah, and we are building this insanely beautiful home with this slider this la cantina slider that opens all the way up and look at this view look at that boom deer valley ski resort right there the new mayflower ski resort right there and what a beautiful sight outside these this beautiful couple's dining room door so you really can't beat it you can't beat this view it's it's quite nice and so that being said, this is a beautiful home, beautiful location. I wanna make sure that the interior of the house is beautiful as well when people are working because that's something that shows that we care about our jobs. So that being said, um, make sure you take the time to clean up your job sites. Make sure you take the time to show people respect. Make sure that you take the time to do the things that not everyone else wants to do, especially on your day off because it shows that you actually care about your job sites, shows that you care what you're doing, and it shows your team that you're not above doing this type of work even though it's a Saturday. So that being said, make sure you keep your job sites clean, make sure you help out your team, make sure you go above and beyond because those are the things that make the difference when you're building a, a house, especially a multi-million dollar home because some of these people just think, oh, they're rich, they don't give a shit, who cares? Well, that's not true, we care. So. Um, that's all I got for you, davidwindsor.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.